Mary Meet. I'm so happy you're with me today. I wanted to take a moment and share with you a quick magic tip that most everybody that I've talked to had never heard of before. And it's something I've known for years. And I'm excited about it, and I hope you are as well. One of the issues that many people have with magic is that in our lifestyles these days, we don't have necessarily the time or even the environment where we can have this sort of pseudo um, image of what people think a witch is supposed to be. And that's somebody with a, a ton of little jars of herbs and in bottles and things like that. Most of us can't do that. We're not in, in, in environments where that's appropriate. A lot of us are, are, are um, working undercover uh, with the craft. We're not in environments that where it's even uh, appropriate for us to, to, to be witches. So, um, so a lot of the, a lot of the herbal magic that's out there is very difficult for, for many people who want to work it to work because they don't have the, the space or the wherewithal or the environment where they can have all these exotic herbs. And what I discovered is that just like Van Van is an all purpose perfume, there is an all purpose herb blend. Yes, there is. And for the most part, what you can do with, even if you're doing non-blended herbs at home, you can get by with kitchen herbs with everything. If, if, it, if you can buy it at the grocery store, you can use it for magic. And so just limiting it to kitchen herbs, for one thing, is very smart. Second, if you're in an environment where you can't even do that, like for instance, where I am here, there's no kitchen here. So it would not be appropriate for me to have a ton of kitchen herbs, but I can have one bottle of herbs. I can have one bottle of herbs. And if that is the bottle that is used for all purpose, wonder what that could be. It's called Herbs of Provence. That's right. It's Herbs of Provence. And you can buy that at the grocery store. Most grocery stores have it. Okay. Now, traditionally, this is a blend of eight different herbs, including lavender. And all the herbs usually used in the Herbs de Provence are, um, are mercurial, and there's usually eight, which is another mercury. So when you're dealing with mercury, what you're dealing with is the messenger of the gods. And mercury, as the messenger of the gods of that planet, can operate in any sphere it wants to. So whatever your magic needs are, if you want to work herbal magic, get a bottle of Herbs de Provence. Now, if they're not using the actual original recipe, as long as it's got lavender in it, you are good to go. Don't worry about whether it's uh, exactly the right formula or not. They all seem to work as long as they have lavender in them. All right, so Herbs de Provence. That's my little quickie magic tip for the day. I hope it's a helpful one. Blessed be. Blessed be.